Hi guys, today we're going to be trying to get some data from this NVMe PCI Express solid state drive. This arrived uh, not too long ago, it's been tested, it doesn't get recognized if I connect it directly to an adapter. Uh, so we're going to use PC3000 portable today with the uh, SSD add-on kit and hopefully we'll be able to retrieve content from it. So this device is based on SM2263XT controller which is currently only supported by PC3000 SSD extended kit which we have right here with us and that will help us communicate with the device and the capabilities of the tool will allow us to communicate with the data and begin imaging process. So let's have a look how the utility can handle this stuff. So to do this, we're gonna need uh, several things. Number one would be PC3000 itself. Gonna need a laptop. Let me clarify something. PC3000 cannot run off Mac. My MacBook Pro was partitioned and I installed Bootcamp on it for Windows 10. And that's where the uh, uh, PC3000 is running off of. Somebody asked me if it can be installed on an Apple machine and the answer is no, it cannot. It has to be on Windows. So we're gonna need the cables, we need the adapter, we need this adapter as well. And there's the unit that we're gonna use for the target to make things go faster. Um, I'm gonna use port one on this machine and port zero is going to be our source. I'm gonna save the task to SSD. This is the unit hooked up with the USB cable to the computer. Don't forget the power cord. So now we're all connected, we can start. So in here we're gonna select port one to become our destination. Uh, on port zero, we need to select uh, which type of PCI Express SSD this is, uh, whether it's NVMe or AHCI from like a Apple uh, product. NVMe is what we're gonna select and uh, the tool can actually detect which one it is by running some tests on it and pre-select it for you. Go ahead and hit OK. Hitting OK, it takes us straight to the utility. We're gonna go ahead and power up our device. And um, once the device is powered, we'll look at physical connection. It's connected. We don't have any strange lights going up, uh, indicating a short, and everything seems to check out at this point. At this point, when we're in, uh, we need to select the utility that has this controller. I'm gonna go with Silicon Motion NVMe utility for AMD vendor. Getting into the utility, it's introducing us to the controller type and the family that it belongs to. We can see that the controller type matches up, so that's good enough for us. I'm gonna select utility start. Once we're in the utility and the loader is attached, we need to go and see what we have going on. So once we're in the utility, we're gonna go ahead and upload the loader to it. With the loader, we're able to begin uh, building our translator. Translator is something that helped this SSD to navigate during the imaging process and allow us access to the uh, logical image of the device through physical translation of its contents using the utility. So we're gonna go ahead and hit create. Uh, when it uh, creates a translator, uh, it will ask what uh, type of directory you wanna add it to. We're gonna say okay, and let this process build out. This process takes a little bit of time, uh, but once it's built, we can run uh, disk imaging and see if we can communicate with the unit or not.
Okay, so the test is completed, the translator is built, time to create an image of this device. As I mentioned earlier, port 1 is going to be our target, that's what we will uh, power up right now. Open up the tool and navigate to disk utility where task can be created. When we create a task, we're going to select ignore ACC errors and uh, hit OK. So that's where we select uh, destination folder to create a task. It's not going to be created on the same target drive that we're using. It's going to be created on a separate device. I'm not going to use my uh, system drive. I'm going to use external SSD for it. That's where I keep all the tasks when I use this tool. Over here now, we got source device selection. I'll select that, make that a copy. PC3000 SATA1 is going to be our destination. When everything is selected, uh, the task will take a little bit of time to open up, but now we have full size displaying as 476 gigabytes. And uh, if we go into the map and let's say click on the random sector, we can see that we can read it. This is the last sector, so the translation to the last sector is good. This is the first sector, and we can see that it has our proper 55AA signature at the bottom, which indicates that we're getting uh, good data, guys. So now we can explore the uh, uh, directory, select folders that need to be selected, and go after specific data that the customer requested. Now this looks to me like a Windows 10 system drive, so most likely all of the data is going to be lo located in this partition here. Uh, but uh, let's just do some basic tests and see how uh, the imaging can go. And as you can see, the image is running. And it's running pretty smooth. If we look at the speed, we're getting about 4 megabytes per second. The speed will drop in some spots, it will increase in the others. Uh, but overall, uh, you get the idea of what is involved in recovering data using a translator feature. Uh, with help of PC3000 portable and this specific controller. So now it's just a matter of uh, spending some time on the imaging process. This is a big device. It will take quite a bit of time to image it out properly. Uh, but again, it all depends on how much data the client wants. If the amount of data is relatively small, it will take much less time than imaging the entire thing. Uh, together. If you guys have any questions, as usual, drop them in the comment section below. Uh, if you're interested in more videos like this, let me know and I'll make sure that that takes place. Uh, thank you very much for tuning in again. I'll see you all in the next episode.